Learn at home with the Handwriting Interactive Teaching Tool. Hello. Today we want to take a few moments to walk you through some ways that you can utilize HIT, the Handwriting Interactive Teaching Tool, while your students are at home. We know you're trying to support a variety of distance learners and the access to technology may be limited. However, if your students have a device that can connect to the internet, even if it's just a tablet um, or a laptop or a Chromebook, then they can use HIT at home. First things first, you're going to want to direct parents to lwtiers.com slash programs slash distance learning. If you go to our main page, there's a link for distance learning. Here, they can actually create an account, which will be free for 90 days, and they can get started by choosing the correct version of HIT to match the student workbook that you're using for that grade level. Also on this page, we've added our getting started resources. Please instruct parents or whoever's working with the students to visit this and the Handwriting Without Tears section specifically to find out a little bit more about how to utilize HIT at home. There's a short video for parents, as well as instructions on how to use their workbooks, depending on which workbook you use, so that they can better support student learning with handwriting. For today's purposes, I'm gonna be utilizing the Cursive Kickoff Workbook inside of HIT. So this is the second grade Cursive Introductory Workbook. To get to HIT, you simply need to go to hitt.lwtiers.com and log in. Now for distance learning, there are a couple of things that you can do. If you're already utilizing something like Zoom or a digital tool to connect with your students and instruct them live, simply share your screen, pull up HIT, and utilize it like you would in the classroom to engage students. Firstly, you can bring up the student workbook. The menu option is on the left-hand side. Click the little button to open it up and click on workbook. Then take the students to the correct page that they're going to be working on at home. You can choose the appropriate letter by clicking on the menu options up top, or you can enter in the page number if you know specifically where you want them to be. We'll take a look at capital D for today. Now what you're going to want to do is if you're instructing your students virtually and doing it live, you're going to want to take them to the workbook page and, and ask them to have their copy of the workbook open as well. Utilize whatever presentation tools you have, if there's a laser pointer or something similar, to walk them through the steps of writing the specific letter. You can also refer to our letter and number formation videos built into HIT. Simply open the menu, go to your apps, and click on letter and number formation. Here you can pick the appropriate letter. Let's go to cursive, capital D. When you do this and you select play, it's going to walk the students through how to form the letter, including verbal cues for where to start and what to do, so they can actually see the process. I'd recommend showing them this formation video at least twice to reinforce how to do it. And the second time, ask the students to use their finger and trace along on the screen or in front of themselves as they go through the letter to practice writing before they start working in the workbook. Once the video has completed for the letter and number formation, they're able to actually utilize this tool if they have hit open at home to practice writing the letter digitally. So let's take a look at that. So you can see here, we've got the audio cues that will play, but we also have visual cues going through the process. And once the letter has fully completed, all of those cues are available for us. And you can walk the students through the process. So for capital D, we'd remind them that we start up top and go down, small turn, flip over, curve up, and end. And again, walk them through that multiple times. Now, if you go to the draw tool, a pencil appears, and you are able to either trace over the letter or clear the model, and a starting point will appear, and then the students can practice on their own. 
Now they can only practice if they have hit open on their device. If you're sharing the screen with them currently, they will not be able to practice um, since it's controlled by you. But this is a good opportunity to show them what that would look like. So in my case, I'd walk them through going down, small curve, flip, go back, swirl and end. It's not going to be perfect, but that helps them to see that it's not going to look absolutely 100% great when you do it. And then of course, encourage them to erase it or you can erase it for them and then go back through again. You can also ask them for the verbal cues. So you say, okay, if we start at the top, what should I do next? And have the students respond back with down, small, you know, small flip, curve back to the top. So have them walk you through the steps of the letter multiple times to make sure that they understand what they're supposed to be doing with that. You can also have students go back and practice letters that they have already done in class. So if you're not comfortable hitting on new letters right now and you'd rather wait and see how things are going to work out with getting back to school, encourage them to go back and practice specific letters that you know have given them difficulties. Just instruct them to go into HIT once their parents have created the account, go into the resources section over here or the menu, sorry, um, click on apps and then go to the letter and number formations. Another option is you can direct students to go to the wet, dry, try app. Similarly, they pick the letter um, or number or even the connection of letters for practicing cursive connections so that they can get additional practice with the specific formation. In this case, we'll grab cursive O. And just like the letter and number formations, a video is going to play with sound and cues. And then once it's done, the students are going to be able to practice. So it tells us magic C, keep on going, bump, end with a toe. Reminding the students, of course, that the cursive O has the toe at the top. Now, if you've never used wet, dry, try before, this methodology gives students three opportunities to practice writing a letter before they physically put it onto paper. So first, they trace the letter using a wet sponge, or in this case, it's a digital wet sponge. Wet dry try will not allow them to proceed on to the next step until they've completed the first step appropriately. A ding and a positive audio cue, audio cue will play, moves on to the paper towel. They grab the paper towel and they dry the letter that they've just done. Here we go. And then once that's completed, they get a piece of chalk and they're able to write it. There we go. They can go back through and do that multiple times on their own. And once they've had enough practice utilizing hit and navigating, should be fairly easy for them to get to where they need to go. Younger students are going to need guidance, so parents will probably have to help when they try and do these types of activities. Keep that in mind and restrict it to only doing one or two letters at a time for practice to help minimize the load on the parents. Another thing you can do is if you are teaching digitally with your um, students, is you can actually go into the workbook flip to a specific page and you'll notice that there are those resources that appear on the side depending on the letter that you're teaching. I'm gonna go back to my lowercase cursive P. We see here we've got the wet dry try option, not only for the letter P, but also for PA. So when you're connecting P and A together because that's the practice for that page. But there are also videos. In this case, air writing cursive P and voices. Air writing is one of our techniques for practicing a letter with your hands before you start using the paper. You could, if you're using, again, Zoom or something similar, go in and play this video, share the audio, make sure that option is turned on in Zoom um, to share your computer audio with the students. But go ahead in there and play that video for them to watch. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off just so the noise isn't playing in the background. So you can see it's a relatively short video shows one of our teachers or instructors who's gonna be writing cursive P in the air using a ball. This would be a great activity again for the students. Have them find an object around the house 
It could be anything, an animal, stuffed animal, um, a fruit. It could be a toy, what have you. And then have them follow along and try and model drawing the letter in the air with you. This works really well for kindergarten, first, second, even third grade and going up. And of course, if you're using a virtual classroom like Zoom and it allows you to see your students' screens, you can ask them to practice two or three at a time and you can watch them to make sure that they're modeling the letter correctly. Also, don't forget to do it yourself if you're sharing your um, video with them so that you can show them from your perspective how to draw the specific letter. If you aren't using a virtual classroom and you're relying on parents to do teaching at home, you can definitely send an email or a letter home to families and let them know about the teacher's guide. Let's go back to that lowercase p, for example, so we can show a parent what they would need to do if they're trying to support their student learning. Direct them to go to that page within the teacher's guide, and you can see here they're going to get an exact same copy of the teacher's guide that you have. It shows them what they need to do, so demonstrate p on the double lines, say the words for each step, and then demonstrate how to draw those specific words. If parents don't feel comfortable writing in cursive particularly, then they can at least show the students the model in the book and then refer to the videos that are built into HIT, like that air writing video that's available or the letter and number formations. Also, don't forget about the resources section. Again, if you have parents who are supporting their student learning because you can't do virtual, send them here. Now within the resource types, you can see we have live teaching videos available. With the live teaching videos, you'll find different options like laser letters, print stories, air writing, voices. Um, there's a classroom lesson for several of the letters. So if you're working on new letters or again, just reinforcing old letters, take a look at the resources section, decide which letter or letters you're going to work on, and then advise the parents to come in here, turn that video on, show it to the students, and it's very helpful if they watch the video with the students too, so that they can model along with them the proper way to write the letter. Kids may really enjoy seeing their parents learn cursive alongside them, if that's what they're working on. And of course, if they're working on print and they're more familiar with that, they should be pretty comfortable working um, with like the kinder and first graders and even the pre-K kids who are still working on their print formation. Just in case they're a little bit nervous about that, one of the other options available with our resources is under a click away, we have our home links. Home links go over groups of letters. So our starting corner capitals, our magic C, um, and the specific groups that are available. You can direct parents here, and if they go to a specific letter group, again, practicing those letters at home, it's going to give them the verbal cues they need to say to their students to help guide them through forming those letters. Alternatively, under the Aclickaway resources, you're able to find additional word practice options, um, different things that they can do at home. So if they have a printer, they can actually print everything out. If they don't have a printer, they can still pull up the cursive letter formation chart or the print letter formation chart. If they do this, it'll actually go through all the difference, this, different letters. In this case, this is the capitals. And then also um, we have the lowercase letters down below. So they're able to walk through each one. It's got the verbal cues. It shows the pencil movements of where to start and where to go next. And these are printable, but if they don't have printer access, then what they can do is they can just refer to having them on the screen and showing the students the specific letter that they're looking at. So remember, with the e-learning, there are a couple different paths that you can take. Of course, if you are able to do virtual classrooms with your students, we implore you to do direct instruction with them, even if it's only a short five or six minute lesson on forming the letters. Watch them do air writing or something else. So they get that additional practice first, and then go ahead and have them use their workbooks if you sent them home, or they can write on paper and start practicing those specific letters. If you can't support digital learning through live classroom instruction, get familiar with the different videos and resources available in HIT 
And then when you send home packets for students or advising parents via email of what to do, please guide them to the appropriate video within HIT or the appropriate resource and give them a little bit of instruction on what they might need to do to help their students. And of course, if you have any questions or need any support from us, please don't hesitate to reach out to your success manager, that's your curriculum coach, um, or your sales rep from Learning Without Tears. And your curriculum directors or principals should have their contact information for you. We wish you the best of luck, and we're here for you if there's anything we can do to support this crazy time that we're going through with e-learning and with trying to help our students as they're working on things from home. Thank you so much.